here 2v2 Biffy's Peril Redux blue team. Alexander Begg plays a Chaos Sorcerer also known as Eye of Horus. Offensive and disruptive commander fights melee by default has a bunch of spells. This guy is the community manager for Elite looks after the website and generally gets things done over there so go and check it out. Alongside Zero is Truth plays a Grey Knight brother captain not particularly grey though. Durable commander that walks through cover and cannot be suppressed. Good offense and support fights melee. Keltos on the red team is another brother captain. This guy is the lead balance designer for Elite Mod. And alongside Keltos is Chassel Tao Doranro as an Eldar Warlock offensive melee. Nice mobility with fleets can also leap into melee combat passively. There is the Destructor on those Kel Space Marines. Can also tank and disrupt great late game. Has some Howling Banshees on the field. Like melee unit with power weapons. Hunting down those Kel Space Marines. Alexander Begg going for some more heretics which is a great opening for chaos these days I much prefer it to double CSM in the current meta heretics just 210 requisition now strike team or strike squad even on the field for Keltos and zero heavy infantry quite versatile and durable some more dire avengers for Chassel these guys standing in cover exchanging fire with the Chaos Space Marines and here are those double heretics perhaps. But I would think we're going to see at least one aspiring champion to deal with the Howling Banshees. This is 2.0.7 by the way so Grey Knights have some new toys. We also have some new models for the Chaos Raptors which are fantastic. Not sure who's responsible for those but they're great. Rhino on the way for Keltos and now this node being taken care of is a bit of a nod 2v2 map not my favorite must be said but it's not terrible it's just very very open there's a lot of cover but there's very very little to block line of sight in fact there's pretty much nothing apart from the bases here have this power point on the east side VPs north south and center another power point on the west and here is the rhino for Keltos an armored transport in tier 1 gives you heavy cover if you stand near it such as this strike squad is doing no third unit yet for zero must be going for interceptors perhaps he has enough resources to get purgation for another strike squad Zero is truth, brother captain forced to retreat. Hopefully we will see some of the new war gear that the brother captain can get. 477452. Alexander Begg going for Havoc, so perhaps we will not see the shiny new raptors, but they're not particularly shiny, but they are new and pretty fantastic looking. Howling Banshees now going after this power havoc setting up. And there is the suppression, instant suppression from the Havocs and a full retreat there did not lose a model though and he also has an aspiring champion on these heretics are the heretic squad getting grenade launchers look at a map control for red team have a two to one and have lots and lots of points and here is a purgation squad from zero is truth with those incinerator flamers that suppress and deal some pretty nice AOE damage as well. These guys are going to jump in the Rhino and back off. Are they? Yes, eventually. The Rhino has super heavy infantry armor in T1, so you can damage it with small arms fire. It is quite durable though. 900 hit points. Warlock leaping into combat on those heretics there, and loads of them die. Wow, that's painful. Havocs are there though to suppress the Warlock. Here come Howling Banshees, spitting his forces. But Alexander switches targets, nicely done. And the Banshees are forced off. Banshees could have easily gone around there and completely avoided the firing arc. Guardian weapon team on the field for Chassel. With a Shuriken Cannon by default setup team that suppress. And Keltos goes tier 2. Zero going for interceptors now. 
interceptors can now get psych out and crack grenades in tier 2 so we'll see what we'll see I, I believe it's tier 2 CSM forced off here heretics taking tons of fire don't lose the model though amazingly double dire avengers both with their aspects so they can chuck very nasty plasma grenades but they're running into these havocs here suppressing all of them these guys trying to get close enough for a grenade I think which is very risky the sparring champion heretics coming in now gonna try and throw a grenade on the heretics but loses an entire dire avenger squad and almost lost the other one as well poor play from Chassel tried to get a grenade off didn't seem to want to happen and now replaces those dire avengers howling banshees coming in this is a very dangerous digging force off the havocs but these heretics are right here in retreat path and this is painful could have lost the entire squad there very lucky to get away with two models I think 21 hit points between them here we see the interceptors teleporting infantry that fight melee good for countering setup teams and range units in general Keltos now getting some purifiers can't wait to see these guys in action purgation squad taking out these generators yes not gonna steal it here comes that rhino can be given vehicle armor in tier 2 can also be given some weapons at which point it would technically technically become a razorback I think I don't think rhinos can get last cannons and twin link heavy bolters but there you go 428387 and it's the 2 to 1 cap for balloon now they've done well to come back and hold VPs here are those interceptors can get a just a car in tier 2 that gives them furious intervention teleport which is really great I do believe they are slightly underpowered at the moment we will see how they do the trouble is they don't have the range that assault marines and raptors have with their jump they have the same health they cost more and they have a lot more trouble getting out of trouble they can teleport in but it takes so much energy I think it's 60 energy and they're just left there to try and retreat afterwards assault marines can jump in and out raptors can also jump in and out though not quite as well as assault marines strike squad sorry purifiers for Keltos backing off elite melee infantry in tier 2 and these guys have a new ability in 0.7 so hopefully we'll see that in play they do need their justicar to get it though strike squad in cover incinerators ignore cover though since they're a flamer and they are backed off we do see the rhino with a heavy bolter 419358 Chassel is now tier 2 might be looking to drop an autoc on some heretics Chaos Souls are taking tons of damage here almost goes down Havocs are back out still with the heavy bolter they can get an auto cannon and a las cannon and here is the autoc being used to disrupt the havoc you see the three second stun on the autoc entry grenades great sub commander for Eldar runs around very very quickly jumping over cover as you can see there has a power sword to start off can get a fusion gun in tier 3 and a spear in tier 2 gives a passive damage reduction buff which you can see on these howling banshees here also inspires on kill which you saw when she killed the power node 389358 is a 2 to 1 cap for red now and a chaos dreadnought on the field for Alexander with his default auto cannon now getting the mark of corn good synergy with the sorcerer since he can teleport it out of trouble with his very handy global purgation squad do they have no sign of side cannons yet they have been tweaked a little in 0 0.7 their clear vision ability has been nerfed range reduced duration reduced and recharge increased not sure if their damage tables were adjusted was not in the notes if they were havoc setting up here with that heavy bolter and here comes the mark of pawn chaos dreadnought 359358 and Keltos forced off no he's keeping his strike squad in play here and there you see the purifies ability 
Ouch, plasma damage over time. I'm not sure what it's called. And here's Purgation. Those purifiers then have their Justicar. They're inside this Rhino, and here they are. Their Justicar gets that awesome Demon Hammer. And they are tearing those Purgation squad apart. Might wipe the squad here. Chasing them off. Rhino backing off. Does it have... It has been upgraded to vehicle armor, you can tell, because it only has 500 hit points now. And levels to two. Purifies in amongst the strike squad, absolutely tearing them to pieces. Gonna whack them, and they do now, turning on the brother captain. And I don't think he wants this fight. He has no war gear, and he's gonna get absolutely owned by the purifiers. Wow. Paid for themselves already, these guys are now level two, but we do have a Grey Knight. Dreadnought on the field for Zero is Truth with that multi melter going after the Rhino. Rhino able to keep its distance though. Central BP being capped. That Dreadnought in amongst the Warlock there. 351 and 358 now has an auto cannon Mark of Corn for these Chaos Havocs. Shuriki Cannon and a Bright Lance for Chassel. And Keltos now has a Grey Knight Brother Captain. And he has Codicum Aeternum already. Shroud great for supporting Purifiers. And also Might of Titan as well would be great. No sign of the Nemesis Four Sword for the Brother Captain to support them further. Maybe we'll see the Halberd. I do think Zero is true should get the halberd to try and deal with the purifiers, but he is down at the moment. Chaos Dreadnought has taken a small amount of damage. Chassel trying to lure it back into this Bright Lance. Alexander knows something up, now has some Mark of Horn Chaos Space Marines. Fully upgraded with Eternal War as well, you can tell by the plus sign and the insignias around their weapons, and they get those cool. Corn Berserker type helmets as well with Mark of Corn. Chaos Sorcerer teleporting in and he's put down the circle of summoning here. Blood Letters will spit out of there, forcing off the Bright Lance. Howling Banshee's in trouble. But they do get away. And we have a Wraith Lord with Bright Lance. And look at the damage it did to the Dreadnought. Now in combat backed up though by those mark of corn csm and there is blood rage and i don't think any walker in the game can beat the mark of corn chaos dreadnought when blood rage is up though blood rage is a lot shorter now in elite so that might not be the case anymore wraith lord backs off and gets away star avengers will be able to repair and another rhino from keltos this time with the last cannon technically a Razorback now I think but that's nitpicking 330, 325, it's a 2 to 1 cap that's kind of exploding a poor little heretic Chaos Dreadnought needs some repairs here doesn't seem interested though this full power farm is red they also have a full here and a point here, blue team struggling for power right now just plus 36 compared to plus 66 per minute for the blue and red team Alexander has quite a lot of nice resources perhaps saving for tier 3 now Howling Banshees with the Rexarch, she has her spear, you can see her at the back of the group there 316, 323 now Alexander needs to deal with the shuriken can teleport in his chaos sorcerer but then that bright lance would be there shooting at the chaos dreadnought and here comes those double rhinos from keltos that twin in last cannon gonna get shots off on the dreadnought and look at the damage it does 303323 three. purifiers coming in under shroud and this will be an interesting fight but we won't see it because the mark of corn csm have backed off i'm I think the purifiers would win that fight especially if they use their new nifty ability which we've seen here I really should have learned the name of this 
but look at the damage it does. Ouch, it actually increases in damage the longer that it is up. It does plasma damage, I believe, so very nasty for heavy and super heavy infantry armor. 282323. This Grey Knight Dreadnought is still around, by the way. Has the melee upgrade, giving it 100 DPS heavy melee with a 40 splash, I think. And it's taking big shots from this Wraithor. He's not moving it. Eventually does. And just about survives. Zero is Truth believes he moved it. Perhaps he didn't want to move because you made your Grey Knights purple. Here comes Howling Banshees and they take down that Dreadnought. Here we see Blood Rage. You lose the control of the Chaos Dreadnought but it does more damage, moves faster and takes less damage. Can backfire heinously though as it might do here. He turns on Allied Heretics but does wear out. Raid Lord now being repaired has done a pretty good job with this right lance on its shoulder. Chaos also teleports in to tie up this set up right lance. Grenades go off, dodged by Alexander 280299. Keltos has lost one of his rhinos and goes tier 3, as does Zero. Wraith Lord again survives. Chaos Dreadnought still level 1. The surviving rhino is the last cannon one. 280299, 2 to 1 cap for red. Here are the stormtroopers, they have their sergeant, turns them into a detector unit, gives them some more DPS. Here you see the purifier ability again, which I don't know the name of. 271299. They can't use it very often because it, it takes all of their energy, it costs 100 energy to use. So once they use it, they need to regenerate all of their energy. Of course, you can synergize that with the strike squads ability that gives energy. Purgation now have their side cannons for zero, very very close to leveling. Grey Knight Librarian, not sure if he has the Libra Demonica. I think he does because he has a thousand hit points. Yes, the Shrouding does not buff hit points, just energy, so he does have the Libra Demonica. Another circle of summoning from Alexander. Wraithlord does go down thanks to the Dreadnought and his Mark of Born CSM. The Mark of Born CSM have done reasonably well, I think. They are pretty good against other melee squads such as these Banshees. And Banshees are now level 2. Here comes that Rhino to support again. Ouch, got a direct hit on one of those Kel Space Marines and makes them retreat. That auto cannon now firing away. Seems to be ground target in there. Oh no, it's firing at the warlock. He's level two, has no war gear. Kelthos is brother captain level three with no war gear. Very little commander war gear. All we see is the vestments of the warp for Alexander's Kel Sorcerer. And there's a grenade on those heretics. That's gonna be very nasty if it hits takes out five models if that hit flush that would have wiped them I think Alexander is now tier 3 doesn't have the red for Terminator since he used circular summoning a few times but we might see a great unclean one or something see a council on the way for Chassel and some Grey Knight Terminators for zero 223290 and here is Keltos buffing his purifiers with We Are the Hammer. He's running into a lot of stuff though. We have a Chaos Sorcerer Shrine of Zinch up. Shoot out those Doom Bolts. They also passively give you 10% damage resistance. Many people forget about the passives that the Mark of Corn, the sorry, the Corn and the Zinch Shrines give now. It's gone down though. Brother Captain backs off. Purifiers still in play. Level 3 Purifiers now. Supported by the Librarian with Might of Titan. And he is backed off. Zero is Truth now decapping mid. And here are the Grey Knight Terminators. These guys have a new ability, Hammer Hand, which buffs their damage basically for a short duration. 193, 290. 
interceptors and they have grenades going after this rhino no sign of the grenade going off I don't think they have the energy to use it 190 290 here are the seer council power melee infantry that leap into combat nice mobility they also give off a passive buff which will be synergizing well with that Autark who has done well herself she has her spear not quite level 2 Twin Link Laz Cannon wants to get shots off on those Terminators boom there we go still no war gear for Zero or Keltos and Paladins on the way though for Keltos Land Raider Phobos on the way for Alexander Land Raider Phobos are great versus Terminators since those Laz Cannons will hit Terminators 190, 278, it's a one to one cap. And the brother captain of Keltos now getting a Nemesis Warden staff to further support these purifiers. There is We Are the Hammer again, buffing their speed and giving them some damage resistance. 182, 278. Right, Lance getting big hits off on his Mark of Corn Dreadnought. Alexander's done a great job looking after this thing. And here is the Land Raider now. Twin Link Laz Cannons, grenade launchers, and that Twin Link Heavy Bolter at the front and backs them all off. Big push now from Blue with Grey Knight Terminators and this big ass Land Raider. Dreadnought being repaired. Chaos Sorcerer, does he have anything else? No, he's level three now though. Here are the Paladins now. Heavy melee, super heavy infantry. Good versus all targets. Also give off a passive buff which will be further supporting these purifiers. And here we're going to see a huge ruckus. Green Knight Terminators versus Paladins and Purifiers. And this brother Captain and the Librarians in there as well. He has run out of energy though. So can't use Might of Titan any longer. Also getting his energy drained of course by the Grey Knight Terminators. So lots and lots of cool interplay here. The supported Purifiers, the Grey Knight Terminators draining the energy of the Librarian. And of course the brother Captain. Zero is Truth just lost a lot of stuff. Here we see the Nemesis Warding Staff allows you to cast a ward on a friendly unit. Gives 30% damage resistance. 170, 278. Mark of Corn Care Trade not taking big hits from this Bright Lance. But does get away. Grey Knight Terminator is unable to retreat or trying to walk back to base here. Their teleport obviously on cooldown. Librarian turns around to Cap and Keltos gives up the chase. 170, 278. Seer Council getting absolutely owned by that Twin Link Heavy Bolter and back off. Only lost a single model though. That Auto Cannon also getting hits. Warlock level 2 with Providence. Chaos Sorcerer teleporting to mid to try and cap is a 1 to 1. And there is Providence. This Warlock is now invulnerable and his abilities will recharge very, very quickly. He only has Destructor though. Dar Avengers coming in. These guys level 2. Dreadnought just about surviving. Needs to be repairing that with both Heretic squads, I think. Mark of Corn CSM dodging the grenade. And the Warlock will decap center. More Grey Knight Terminators for Zero is Truth. Fire Dragons on the field for Chassel. We'll need to be very careful though getting close to that land radar because there's a Dreadnought right there, Marco Corner CSM right there and Aspiring Champion Heretics right there. Not to mention the grenade launcher on the land radar itself. Brother Captain for Zero still without any war gear. Brother Captain for Keltos is getting kitted out, has the Psychic Lash and his big new armor. Holy Armor of Titan, buffing health by 300%, decrease all ability cooldowns by 30%, and allows him to go invulnerable. There's a Doom Bolt, huge, huge engagement again. There's a Psychic Storm trying to take out that Land Raider. A nuke that is fantastic versus vehicles, had disabled it but didn't quite take it out. Here comes the Chaos Dreadnought, needs to be very careful with those Paladins right there. Keltos not going after it though. 
Is this a Land Raider Crusader being called in? I think it is. Zero is Truth cancelling the second Terminator squad. Kerstred not chasing here. Paladin's turn to engage with those big demon hammers they have. Kerstred not surviving. Unbelievable. 1, 3, 4, 2, 6, 8. This Rhino has been fantastic getting shots off with this last cannon all the time. Brain Knight Terminator has yet to lose a model though I don't think. And they do have the Liber Demonica which gives them that hammer hand. They do need to purchase it. I think it's 9020 to purchase or something like that. 1, 3, 4, 2, 6, 7. Here comes a bunch of Eldar going after this Land Raider Phobos. Fire Dragons getting hits. But there are oh, the grenade launchers flying out the front of the... Land Raider Crusader. Sorry, there's the Crusader, not the Phobos. Phobos is back here. 134258. These Hurricane Bolters and that Twin Link Assault Cannon and a Multi Melter. 134258. It's a 1 to 1 cap. Paladin is trying to cap mid. And under no threat while doing so. Main Raider Crusader has been turned around here. Phobos being repaired. Nothing left to repair the Chaos Treadnought at the moment. There is the 2 to 1 for Red. And another Chaos Treadnought on the way for Alexander. Mark of Paul's CSM now level 2. Don't think they want to fight the Purifiers. Where are the Purifiers? Here they are. Level 4 Purifiers now. 2400 hit points. 116, 258. Red Blue Team needs to push. Easier said than done, of course. That Treadnought. It's very close to death. Brother Captain takes down the Chaos Sorcerer with that Nemesis Warning Stock. Now has to deal though with Mark of Corn CSM. Puts Ward on himself and uses it to retreat. Nicely done. Purifiers lurking. Using their ability there. Oh, it was dodged. 99.258. D Cannon on the way for Chassel. City Council haven't really been able to make an impact yet. Those Hurricane Bolters spewing bolts at an alarming rate. They do suppress as well, and they have suppressed those purifiers there in the background. 85 258. Blue team need to push here. He has double Mark of Corn Dreadnoughts now. Where is that D cannon? Here it is. Seventy-six two five eight, and here is the push by Blue. I think Auto Cannon needs to get a bit closer. Sixty-nine two five eight, and they're decapping mid, and they have decapped mid. Here are Fire Dragons. Out, Singularity just exploded. Some heretics, I think. Zero is truth. Land Raid again, absolutely owned and goes down. Wow, double bright lances and fire dragons make short work of that thing. Chaos Dreadnought in amongst Grey Knights using Blood Rage, and here comes another Chaos Dreadnought. Land Raider Phobos backing off 67, 258. Purifies in retreat. Paladins teleporting out, he lost the model. Brother Captain now level 5 of 1500 hit points thanks to this holy armor of Titan. There is a Hell Fury Strike. Grey Knights do not have their unique globals yet. There is an Orbital Bombardment. Don't think it's going to take anything out of Phobos. Just alive with 197 hit points. Inquisitorial Stormtroopers retreating from Keltos level 3. Have their Recon Kit and Plasma Guns. 67, 251. Warlock trying to cap mid and looks like he's going to be able to do it as well. Brother Captain of Zero never got any war gear at all. He has Paladins and Terminators and nothing else. Red team surely have this in the bag. It's a 2 to 1 cap now. And look at this wall of death that Chassel has put up here. Warlock now fully get out which which bait of Kurnus and Warp Throw. Paladins for zero now decapping mid. 
Grey Knight Terminator is back in now. Have a lot of stuff to run through here. Lose a model. Here comes Seer Council. Will they engage? Looks like they're going after the Michael Pawn CSM. There is the leap. Knocking them all over the place and instantly forces them off. 57, 244. Keltos cannot get another unit. 93 out of 100 population. Grey Knight Terminator is taken down. Ward put up on this Seer Council. 57, 240. Phobos still alive. Chaos Dreadnought still alive. Alexander's lost a lot of stuff though as well. Paladin's teleporting out. 57, 235. Red team. Not being aggressive enough. I don't, I don't think they realize how much stuff blue team have lost. And there is the concede from blue team. Realizing that it was a lost cause. Red team having almost entirely full armies. Lots and lots of cool stuff on the field. The purifiers looking especially vicious when you support them with Librarian and Brother Captain and stuff and their ability looks fantastic too. Did not get to see the new Raptors but oh well. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.